Hey, Buff Nation voice of the Boston Mark Johnson here. Welcome to the Buffalo Stampede at home. It's Rivalry Week, and we're talking rivalries in all sports at the University of Colorado. Danny Sanchez from Women's Soccer joining us here for a few minutes. Danny, off the top here, well, what makes a great rivalry? You've been a coach for a long time. What really goes into creating that rivalry between two programs? I mean, I think in the, for us in the Pac-12, we don't have that natural built-in one like a lot of the schools do. So I think it's knowing the program, proximity, and then maybe kind of some interlapping, whether it's players or coaches. And, and I think for us, the, the obvious one is probably since day one has been the University of Denver, just because of their proximity, yeah. quality of their program, and obviously the players, a lot of them played with each other growing up. You know, I, I think a lot of times rivalries are created when, organically. Something happens right you can't force a rivalry can you think back over the history of this rivalry where something their close match or a big match that there was some controversy in that kind of started a little bad blood between the two programs well i don't know if this is bad blood i remember my first year in 2012 we went into to denver and i had them all fired up my new rockney speech and uh we got ruled four to one and that's their, their denver team went to the sweet 16 and then the next year i fired them up again and we went into denver and lost three nothing um and uh, so that year, 2013, we snuck in the NCAA tournament. And I remember going, I got to scrap these speeches. I get the team, they're fired up and they go guns a blaze. And we said, hey, listen, we're just happy to be here. And uh, when Annie Stoller scored that goal at Denver for us to advance the NCAA tournament in 2013, it's been, uh, it's been a great run for us since then. Well, I was going to say, you're 8-2-0 and against DU. So you, you've had some magic in this rivalry here in recent years. I, I don't know if it's magic. Uh, I may have to reinvent my speech because a lot of these matches have been really as you know, a couple of NCAA tournament games were overtime and one goal games, and uh, but it's been a great it's been a great run against. We have a lot of respect and mutual respect between the programs. Can you feel it leading up to the game that week with your players that they understand that this one's a little bit different? Hundred percent. We we always play them on our last weekend before conference play, and I say, listen, this is like a Pac-12 game. Um, this is this is a game. This for us in the Pac-12, we have eleven more basically NCAA tournament games. So for the University of Denver, you know, this is the game they circle every year on the calendar. And uh, and for us, you know, we've put the same kind of emphasis on it to be ready for Pac-12 play and to play an NCAA tournament quality team. So it's, it's been great matchups. And I'd have to think as well, if, as much as there might be some bad, uh, bad blood or some, you know, high energy against those kind of programs and fans love to cheer against the opposition, there's something about those rivalries that brings out the best in your team, isn't it? There's, there's no doubt about it. You know, I, I, players that maybe the, the younger ones, they don't understand or if they're from out of state. But like I said, a lot of the Colorado kids played against each other. And we, we play them and we tell them, listen, odds are if, we, if when we get in the NCAA tournament, we're probably going to play Denver in the NCAA tournament. That's happened quite a bit. So they understand the importance of it and, and to making a statement. And uh, yeah, the games get going. We, we don't always get big crowds, but when we play Denver, we get huge crowds, whether it's at Prentup or down at their place in, in Denver. Um, so it's, a, it's definitely a game that we look forward to every year. Yeah, we're talking rivalries this, this week here in the Buffalo Stampede at home. And when you're talking women's soccer, it's the Buffs and the DU Pioneers. Good to catch up with head coach Danny Sanchez.